Tonight, six investigates looks into the Nueces County Fire Marshal's office. Our team found our fire marshal did not have the certifications required for the job when he was hired a year and a half ago and still doesn't. Our Taylor Alanis has been digging into this story. She joins us now. Taylor, just how did this happen? Well, when Jose Olivares was hired in 2020, the job required him to get several certifications. Well, he doesn't have them, meaning our fire marshal can't investigate fires or perform any fire inspections, which begs the question, if he can't do the job of a fire marshal, what is he doing? All the houses that have burned here have burned to the ground, all of them. Leonel Lopez all is worried about Banquete, a small town of about 800 people on the western edge of Nueces County with no adequate fire hydrants. It looks like a fire hydrant, but it's not. It's a flush valve. Yeah. Lopez, a retired Corpus Christi firefighter, says hydrant colors represent the water flow capacity. Red is the lowest with only 500 gallons per minute. If this school ever catches fire, they're not going to put it out. Banquete ISD tells us the district's three schools do not have sprinklers because they weren't required by law when the schools were built. So Lopez went to Nueces County Fire Marshal Jose Olivares. And I said, can you go out with me to Banquete Independent School District? I want to show you a fire hydrant. And he said, uh, no. He says he was shocked by Olivares' refusal. I said, are you a fire marshal? And he said, well, I haven't passed the exam. The Texas Commission on Fire Protection requires fire inspectors to take certain exams to get their certifications. Well, when we looked at the database for any certification under Jose Alibares' name, it lists none. The job posting in 2020 required, in part, obtaining the following TCFP certifications within six months of appointment. Basic fire investigator, fire inspector levels one and two, plus plans examiner and arson investigator. Documents obtained by Chris 6 News show he did not have them when he was hired, and he still doesn't have them now. The fire marshal was a mistake. I take my responsibility. I think the court takes its responsibility. HR director has to take her responsibility, and the county judge has to take hers because he has reported to her for the last Two, year and a half. We reached out to Canales several times by email, text, and in person. She agreed to interview, but never made herself available and never responded to a list of questions. Earlier this month, commissioners voted to move that position under their supervision to provide oversight of the position. Up until then, Olivares only answered to Judge Canales. I'm all for reviews of looking how every position that we have, is it being efficient, the way it's operating, who it's reporting to, how it's structured. So that I support. Do we know if he's uh, doing any kind of inspections or investigations? Uh, as far as I know right now, I, I don't think he has. We reached out to Olivares to ask what he is doing if he can't do any inspections or investigations. Olivares told us by text message that he was out of office. We followed up, offering a phone or Zoom interview. He did not reply. But this is going to be clarified. The commissioners plan on asking, but commissioners plan on asking him themselves on Wednesday. I want to talk about the job description that he was hired under and whether or not he's got the qualifications under the job description that he was hired under or not. And if he doesn't, what efforts has he been making to get those and how long will it take? And as the South Texas temperatures begin to rise, Lopez fears the worst for this community. This is for the children, the children's safety. In January, Olivares sent this email to Commissioner's Court saying he is currently enrolled at Houston Community College for the Inspector 1 and 2 classes, and it was the only school he could find with those classes online post-COVID, saying any other entities he contacted postponed any training that could help him with his certifications. Well, we obtained a documentation that shows these courses were available online last year. Taylor Alanis for Six Investigates.